What's up guys? Good morning. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we're currently on our way to drop off the end at the dealership to get the turbo replaced. So, uh, yeah, here I live in LA, so you guys know this traffic over here. This car looks pretty sick. It looks fake. Simulation. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm on my way to drop off the end. Gonna get the turbo replaced. Um, with, um, also, the horns are going out on the car. Pretty common um, with the new Hyundai's that I guess the horn goes out. Um, but it's under warranty. Also, the passenger side headlight has a little bit of a condensation inside. Um, and I know there's uh, like, not, not a recall, but I think like a TSB for that. <laughs> Um, so hopefully they get to replace that or order it um, But yeah, we're gonna be dropping off the car. So this is kind of the last uh, The last uh, drive with it with the old smoking turbo and uh, yeah, once I install it, hopefully the smoking goes away um, I do daily drive the car in basically stage 2 plus N75 calls it stage 2 plus plus uh, which is like the racing stage there's stage two and then stage two plus plus which is i guess it's not max effort but it's like pushing the car um it, the stage two plus plus is basically like the final revision of stage two um <clears throat> i'm debating whether to like um detune it to stage one and just leave it like that and then you know when we go out and uh do runs and stuff Go ahead and uh, upload the stage to uh, plus tune again. It's not like I have to delete it or anything. Just basically had to rewrite the ECU. Um, but we'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna go drop off the car and then hopefully they can finish it quick. I'll get the car back in no time. But I'll go ahead and keep you guys updated and I'll be um, continuing the video once I get the car back. I'm gonna do a little baby pull for you guys before uh, we send her off to the dealership. they're flying and the reflection of the ocean is like the sky she looks sick all right got a sonata hybrid for a uh, loner it's pretty nice it has uh, seat fans or seat coolers i guess you want to call it kind of visit the boys here in detail union for heading home uh, but yeah they took care of me got me a loner and uh, it's pretty car is pretty nice it's uh leather seats like i mentioned it has a seat coolers pretty big more stations than a launcher and of course because it's a sedan like uh it's a bigger sedan than the i don't know if it's mid i think this is considered like a mid-size sedan um and the launcher is like a compact car 
so yeah this is pretty nice it has a lot of technology it's uh, just a regular hybrid not plug-in so you don't have to charge it just charge itself with the regen regenerative braking and all that good stuff but uh, we're gonna head home and uh, hopefully we don't have to wait too long for the car to get fixed um, today is Friday so I'm expecting it but hopefully the next week Tuesday or Wednesday depending on how long it takes them to get parts but um, I actually have a trip next week to Vegas so hopefully we get it by the time we have to go to Vegas I mean I wouldn't mind driving this to Vegas but I would like to drive my car as well um, but yeah we'll see how long does it take for them to actually fix the car hey what's up guys uh, just checking in uh, so I um, should be getting my car tomorrow which is Tuesday um, so that sounds like good news basically had the this car the rental car for the weekend and now it's Monday and we should be getting it by tomorrow um, so hopefully everything goes well once I pick it up and she's good to go but we'll see only time will tell hey what's up guys welcome back um, clearly you guys can see I'm kind of in the desert I'm heading home from Vegas um, actually came to an event it was a video game event it was a world series of warzone global final um, I got my car back last Thursday right before I headed out to Vegas um, so basically they did everything you know change the turbo and installed all basically they had to drop like the engine dropped the subframe and then they were able to get to the turbo um, everything was covered through warranty luckily um, so we got a new turbo um, I really haven't been pushing the car because I mean nowhere does it say you know officially like oh you need a brake in a turbo but I think just like a rule of thumb anything that's like new mechanically should be broken in um, I was seeing like for turbos that are not attached to manifolds um, those usually you have to like purge them and like uh, pre-oil them and like crank the car without the starter relay or something like that to allow the oil to go through um, but and then try to not hit like a certain amount of boost or any boost at all if possible depending on like the tune itself um, so basically what I did was uh, I broke it in 500 miles before even like trying to hit anything over like 10 pounds of boost so far right now we haven't hit anything over 19 because it's kind of like well, unless I have to overtake someone like, on the highway then you know it reaches boost but no more than like 10 to 15 seconds um, <clears throat> Everything's been good so far. Um, I put it in end mode a couple times yesterday, and I didn't see any smoke, which is good news. Um, initially, when I first got it back, I did see a cloud of smoke, which kind of like scared me. But I was just like, it might be just that there was uh, excess oil in like the intercooler pipes or the intercooler itself from the old turbo. But from since then, I haven't seen anything. Um, I do have it uh, tuned at stage two um, right now. I was trying to detune it to stage one, but I actually didn't have the file in here. Um, so I basically have, I, I think, four maps. <clears throat> I have stage one, stage two, stage two plus plus, which is like the one you use to race and then I have um, the anti-lag tune which is four technically three because the stage two plus plus was re the final revision for stage two um, I still have one more tune left with N75 that I haven't yet utilized I don't know what to get to be honest uh, I might get a track tune 
because I will be heading to the track soon. Streets of Willow, November 25th, I believe. With the boys. Um, but yeah, the car's been good. Um, actually, one quick thing is uh, something I found out because I have the gauge here on the left side. So your oil temp is actually your engine temp and then your engine temp is your coolant temp which I don't know why they didn't do that here but I don't know if that's like common sense to you, some of you guys but to me it's I mean I just learned something new I was like oh okay so the oil temp is the actual engine temp and the engine temp is the coolant temp so that's pretty cool um, yeah so the ride's been pretty good I don't know the event World Series of Warzone was pretty sick I'm really into gaming um, play a lot of Warzone I stream sometimes just for fun because you know I'm already playing might as well just hit the stream button um, but yeah I hope you guys are doing well uh, this de car definitely needs a wash it hasn't been washed in over probably three weeks three weeks to a month because of you know it was smoking and it kind of really didn't it was probably two weeks actually not, not three it was smoking and it kind of just made me feel upset because I'm just like uh, Started, it was starting to smoke way more than before um, but yeah that's pretty much the update with the car um, like I mentioned right now we're just hitting about 20 pounds of boost uh, the car does sound a little bit different but I think it's because I detuned it and I got used to the stage 2 plus plus pops which are extremely louder but this is not bad at all um, good thing was um, when I was coming from LA to Las Vegas, I actually averaged 34 miles per gallon, which is pretty good. I think for a tuned car on stage two, I personally feel that with the tune, um, it's actually more fuel efficient. As long as, of course, you're not like stepping on it, pedal to the metal every single time. Uh, if you're like on normal mode <coughs> excuse me if you're on like normal mode then uh, somehow i feel like it's better it might be that my driving habits might have just changed because i'm just like ah, it's cool like when i need to go fast i need to go fast and when i don't i don't um but yeah uh, thank you guys for tuning in to the video i actually have a surprise for you guys coming soon we're gonna be adding something new to the end which is something i've been wanting to add since i got it but I, I just wanted to take my time with it. I want to enjoy the car and, you know, every phase that it is, enjoy it. Like the stock, and when I got the intake, I got the tune, I got the wheels, and, you know, now we have what's coming up. Uh, it should be nice. I uh, can't wait. It actually already got to the shop where they're going to install it, which is the Boys at Detail Union. Anything you guys need, like, installation they do adro kits they do ppf ceramic coat on wheels ceramic coat on the cars paint correction anything that has to do with like car maintenance for like the exterior interior and installation they do it all and honestly when it comes to my car i don't allow anyone to wash it i wash it myself because I just don't trust other people, especially with the black car. It's so easy to see mistakes of others. And um, they're one of the guys, if not the only guys that wash my cars other than myself. Um, I really trust them. They do a great job. They have very great uh, workmanship. They, you know, are very transparent. If something goes wrong, they'll let you know. And I believe that the prices are fair for the quality you get. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you guys, all the subs on the channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Take care, man. Peace.